All right, so I just got a new desk, so I'm really excited um, because it's perfect. Today is a day that I want to record a, and I left the fan on. Let me turn that off. All right, that's better. Today is a day that I planned on recording a brand new video. So I figured I'd set the desk up and just, you know, enjoy my new desk while I make a new video. So this is a video that I've wanted to make for a while, but I just didn't because I really didn't plan the video. Um, I'm kind of just winging it right now. But I wanted to tell you why it's important that you know that your favorite YouTuber used to suck. Now, as we know, the year is about to end. And at the end of the year, what I usually do, and a lot of other people do too, is we like to talk about everything that we accomplished. We like to talk about what's coming in the new year. And we just like to celebrate all the things we've learned, all the opportunities that we took advantage of, and, and just all of our successes. But I think we fail to mention all of the times that we weren't successful. We don't talk about our failures. So for my last video of the year, I thought this would be a good opportunity to talk about a lot of the failures that I've had. And there's been a lot, trust me. So really quick, I just wanna talk about some of the failures. So this year was the first year that I freelanced and there's a lot of things that I, I learned and I learned by doing the wrong thing. One of the things that I failed at is not planning videos the right way. Planning a video, planning anything will save your life 100%. I did a lot of free work and I think I made a really good amount of money this year. I'm proud of what I've done, but I did a lot of free work that I shouldn't have done. I sold myself short a lot of the times by undercharging in a great amount. <laughs> I wasn't consistent with my YouTube videos. There are months that I went without creating anything. I was lazy. I didn't want to sacrifice things like sleep or maybe watching my favorite show. Instead, I felt that because I was freelancing that I deserved to rest and I, I just wasn't grinding like I should have been grinding. Another fail. I've put out videos with typos in them. <laughs> it's completely missed the misspelling. So failure. I can sit here and just list a bunch of things that I did wrong. And I think it's important so you know that there are things that I've done wrong, but more importantly, because I did those things wrong, because I failed, I now know what to do in order to succeed. And the same mistakes that I'm making, the same mistakes that you're making and will make, because you're going to make more failures just as much as I am, your favorite YouTubers have and still will do the same thing. See, a lot of times we look at our favorite YouTuber, our favorite idol, our favorite writer, musician, our favorite businessman, businesswoman, whoever it is, we look up to these people and all we look at is where they're at. We forget to look at the entire journey. We forget to look at where they started, how far they come. That person that you think is such a good speaker on camera, they weren't always like that. Creators like MKBHD, Shane Dawson, Mr. Beast, PewDiePie, Elle of the Mills, all those people, I challenge you, go to their very first video and you'll see a big difference, not only in quality, but a big difference in the person they are today. Uh, at least, you know, the, their online personality because we don't, we don't know them personally. And to me, that's where the inspiration comes from. I think that, and I'm guilty of this, we make the mistake of looking at only a part, only a portion of a person's journey. And a lot of times that discourages us because we're not getting the entire picture. When I look at my favorite creators and some of the people that I, that I deem more successful than myself, and I, and I go back to their first video and I kind of get a snapshot into what the journey looks like from beginning to end. For the first time that they press record on the camera, and they were sitting in their bedroom. There's no set. They're not in a studio. They don't have a great camera. They're not shooting with the most expensive equipment. They're using what they have. They're using their cell phones. They're using natural light. They're using the same things that you and I have access to now. But because we're so wrapped up in, in how big these YouTubers are, because we're so wrapped up in everything that they have, all their accomplishments, we get discouraged and we no longer want to do it. We say, I'm not good enough. But guess what? Nobody's ever good enough in the beginning. Think about that. Nobody's ever good enough until they are. I just recently helped a friend record a video and in the video he mentioned a book called Failing Forward 
by John C. Maxwell. I haven't read the book. It's something um, that I plan on reading in the future, but there was a quote in the book that he mentioned and I, I can't remember the quote exactly. I'm just, I'm just gonna read it. I can't remember it. Let me Google it real quick. 90% of all those who fail are not actually defeated. They simply quit. I think that's the point that I really wanna drive home. Whatever your aspirations, your dreams and your goals and, and the things you wanna do in life are, I think the key to success is just not quitting, whatever your version of success is. I started my journey about three years ago. In 2017, I think it was June, I uploaded my first video that I made for YouTube. It's not a great video. I recently did a video on how to improve on your videos. I'll put a link somewhere up here that you can click on if you wanna check that out. And I went back and I started looking through my old videos. And even though I'm proud of like the actual content, the actual spoken words that I did, I mean, the video quality is trash, but through the years, it's gotten better. Some of it is super cringy to me right now, but I just did two of them and I'm super happy with the quality. And I think it's so far from where I was. But if I would have made those old videos, looked at what other people were doing and said, I'm not as good as them and just quit, I wouldn't be here. And even now there's, there's, there's still room for growth, a lot of room for growth. There's still things that I have to learn. I've acquired some better equipment. I've learned some things. I've gained some knowledge. I've, I've failed. That's the only way I know how to put it. I failed so that now I can fail less. So the whole concept of failing forward is really, is really what I want you to get from this video. So I didn't want to make a video about all my accomplishments, about all the things that I did. And, and I want people to be proud of me, but I wanted to say that I'm proud of my failures. And I hope that when you fail, you'll be proud of yours. Make sure you're doing something that you love. Make sure you're doing something that you care about. If I could look into the future and know that I would never make a dime off of making YouTube videos, I would wake up tomorrow and make another one. As long as I'm doing something that I love and I'm getting better at doing something that I love, I think it's something worth doing. Why do I feel a little emotional right now? I have, I have no idea. Man, it's like I'm making a video for you guys, but I'm talking to myself right now. So in the next year, I, um, I just wanna make good content for you guys. And I just wanna thank you for everything that you've done for me this year. I'm not a huge YouTuber. I'm so grateful for the views and the subscribers that I have for the people who are interested in any of the content. I have videos with 20,000 views on it, and I'm so humbled and grateful for those, for those views. I have videos with 100 views on it, and I'm so humbled and grateful for those views. So in the new year, continue to fail forward, continue to do the things you love, don't quit, don't compare yourself to others. Remember, your favorite YouTuber used to suck, and um, yeah. All right, I think uh, I'm ready to go into this next year. And if you would like to go with me, make sure you subscribe and stick around for more. If you enjoyed this video and you got anything out of it, smash the like button. Uh, I guess I'll see you next year.